Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, women and children of all ages, it's about that time. Welcome back. Today, I got a good video for you. I'm going to show you exactly how to go through step by step and post your vehicle on Turo. Turo.com, kind of like Airbnb. You probably heard about them, but we're going to go all the way deep into the weed today. So go ahead, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We're about to get this thing popping before we get it stopping. <music> If we have, 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 if we What's happening? This is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke, Chris Monroe, and I'm right back at you with a car sharing video. Today's video is being brought to you by Future Cash Flow Funding. If you're looking to fund your deals, whether it's for real estate, whether it's for equipment financing to get vehicles for Turo, check out futurecashflowfunding.com. Fill out that short form and you'll get some options right there. Futurecashflowfunding.com. So today, like I said, we're going to get deep in the weeds on listing a vehicle. I was able to purchase a vehicle yesterday for cash. Got another cash car. We're going to put it up and uh, see how we go through the actual step-by-step -step process when it comes to listing your vehicle on Turo. So we're going to see if it works. Here we go. Let's see. All right. So let me share my screen. Boom. Put you up there like that so you can see everything. So when you go into your Turo account, you just go ahead and log it in and push list a vehicle, you'll get this warning right here, basically saying you're gonna need a license plate number, which I don't have, and you're gonna have to have photos, which I hope I do have. So we're gonna try that out and list this vehicle right now. So um, let's see here. So say it's gonna take about 10 minutes, so that's as long as we wanna take it. So let's start the vehicle. Oh, they wanna know where I'm at. Oh man, I'm probably gonna have to edit this out. I don't want y'all to know my address. Where we at? Uh, it knows all that. We'll blur that out or something, I guess. We don't want you seeing my address. The VIN number. Ooh, wee. I wish I could just scan it. But it's an Illinois one, so we got to type it. I bought this vehicle from a dealer. Um, had to go all the way out to 10 bucks too to pick it up, but it don't matter. Might say we can't list this vehicle. Then what I'm going to do? Oh, no. Um, I hope that's good enough. Save. Uh oh, it should be 17 characters. I know I was gonna mess that up. K N A. Yeah. Oh, too many F's. F U. Boom. Better work this time. It might know all about the vehicle just from the thing. There it is. Voila. I think we got it cooking with hot fish grease. So now that we have the VIN number in, we're going to put in the odometer. As you see here, it gives you different selections uh, all the way from a brand new car up to any car with uh, over 130. However, if you do click this bottom one, 130K plus miles, you will not be listing on Turo. So we're going to go ahead and put it to what it truly is which is right at 100,000. Um, the transmission is going to be automatic. Um, the trim, mm, I don't know. What is the trim? Does it say? Hope I know this. I'm looking at the title. So we'll just leave that blank for right now, even though it's optional. I certify I pay applicable sales tax related to this purchase of a vehicle. Wow, that's something new. I didn't know they were going to say that. Uh, it never had a branded or salvaged title. So let's go. So we're going to click next. It's going to do his little thinky thing. And if something was to pop up bad to say we can't list it due to something, we'll know right about soon. But it didn't. So I think we're good for now. What is your financial goal for Turo? We want to make money. We want to cover the car payment. I ain't got no car payment. I paid cash. Generate side income. Everybody needs extra income. Expand an existing business. That's exactly what I'm doing, but I'm not clicking that. Build a primary source of income or not sure yet. Let's just say we're not sure, even though I got a bunch of other vehicles on Turo. 
How often do you or your family currently use this car? Never. I'm going to say rarely once a week. I don't like to put too many absolutes on stuff. Um, how often do you want to share your car? Often, most of the month. So when you click these different things, I'm going to pull that back up so you can see. Not sure yet, just curious, rarely, just a few times a month, sometimes half a month, often, most of the month, and always, as soon as possible. So I'm going to say, um, I don't know, what did I say? Not sure yet, I'll just say often. That's good enough. Then we push next, and it'll take us to the next step. Pretty simple, right? We try to keep it simple, like a pimple. So next is going to ask us some more information. How available is the car? Uh, we want to talk about advance notice. You can put as short as one hour, as you see, two hours, three hours, six hours, 12 hours, a day's notice before somebody can rent your vehicle. So we're going to say a three hour notice recommended for now. Um, trip duration, the minimum trip you'll take one day, two day, three days, five days. So you can really get selective with that. And I can even say require multiple days if you're getting it on a weekend. Because uh, that can really be a, a problem with you when you have your vehicle out or you want to rent it out. Somebody say, I only want it for Friday. But somebody wanted it for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And some dude with Friday brought it back. And now you got your car sitting on a weekend when it could have went out for three days. So that makes sense. What about maximum duration? Is it five days, three weeks, one week, two weeks? All these different choices here. Let's just put a, a month at a time. I'm probably going to come back and change this stuff. But uh, I'm just putting it up for today's training. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the like button. I ain't see you hit that like button yet. What are you waiting for? Smash it. So we're going to click next. And there we go. That means that's you hitting the bell for the notification bell as well by listening in here as well. So license plate. I don't have one. So we're going to say temp. Even though I don't even have a temp plate. But I'm going to put that in there. And I think we're going to use Missouri. Where are you from, fool? Missouri. Now, what do we have on this vehicle? We do have an auxiliary input. Um, it's not a convertible. We do have keyless entry. We do have USB charger. Is there a camera? Is there Bluetooth? Is there Bluetooth in there? Yeah, Bluetooth. I don't know about GPS. No sunroof, USB input, um, back rack. All these different choices they give you here. I don't remember if it has that stuff, so I'm just going to leave that for that for now. Oh, no, I don't have a description. Oh, I would have just stole it from one of my other listings if I was going to do that. So I'm going to say 50 word minimum. Dang, I got to come up with this on the fly. Or can I go steal it from one of my other listings? Yeah, give me a second here. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to cheat and just go steal it from another listing. I don't want to type all that. So give me a moment and I'll go steal it from another one of my previous listings if I can. Clean cars. Here we go. So yes, um, when it comes to making a good description, you definitely want to use the 50 words or more as it states, and you want to try to make it, you know, appealing, make it eye appealing as well. Um, I like to speak uh, in short paragraphs, and if possible, some bullet points are nice as well, because it's easier on the eyes for people to read. So I'm going to steal some words from a previous listing. One second, I found one to steal it from, and we're going to steal that. Boom. Take it from there, put it over there, pull it over here, and we're going to paste. Boom. Even though it says something different. So I'm going to say this car, because it's not an SUV. My other vehicle is an SUV. This four-door Kia Forte offers a smooth ride with pretty extra space. It don't have a roof rack, so i got to take that out. Space and it's great on fuel. I took the vehicle on a short road trip. Well, it was a short road trip, bringing it back from where the hell we got it from, <laughs> an hour away. And it was smooth and it was driving itself the whole time. Push to start. It don't have push to start, so I got to take that off. Uh, I'm going to take a lot of this stuff off here. Matter of fact, I'm going to take all of this stuff off because uh, heated seats. Do we have heated seats in there? Nope. Can't say that. Man, this ain't got no features. But who cares? I'm going to take that off, too. You will instantly fall in love with this easy-to-drive and maintain vehicle. Hopefully, it can serve you well as it done for me countless times. There is absolutely no smoking in any of our, any of our vehicles. Um, located just minutes from the airport. Um, want to see our fleet of cars. Um, and then there you go. 
many of our vehicles are available for contactless check-in. So looks good. Good enough. 152 words. We have it ready. So hopefully that's there. Um, I'm going to probably come back and edit some of that as well. I just don't want to make this video as long as it's already been. How many minutes we've been on? 10 minutes. Okay, we got to wrap this up before tomorrow starts. So now we push next. It's going to ask some questions and ask for photos. Now we're going to add some photos. How fun is that? So we click the add the photos button. Some photos are going to pop up. Let's move that over here to the other screen. Oh, wow, who's that guy? I can't even get it off the screen. I guess they're going to make me do it this way. I don't want to do it this way. So we're going to go to the Kia Forte. Good thing the pictures are right there. And we're just going to steal these pictures that the guy I bought it from took. Let's see. Oh. Let's see what happens. And when I do go back and take my other photos, which I'm going to do for the real thing, I'm going to take it downtown at the arch. Oh, snap. The image you uploaded is too small. It's always something with this stuff, I promise. So um let's see here add photos why can't i add a photo after all the preparation to have these pictures ready we'll just have i don't even know which one to do we'll do that one we'll just do one photo can i do one one at a time and watch me blow their mind i can't do none of these so i'm gonna have to edit the photos and re-upload them in a little bit so with that being done let's see what it says here for safety standards once the photos are correct um, and let you know here, we strive to maintain a safe marketplace and a reliable experience. As a host, you're expected to uphold these standards. Your car will be maintained so your guests will stay safe on the road. You will also be required to pass an annual safety inspection. That's something they just added this year um, or recently. Every year we got to do an annual safety inspection. Clean and refuel your car before every trip so the guests can have an enjoyable experience. I don't recommend giving them a full tank. I say usually a half tank because uh, what if they don't refuel it? Unless you want to pay the money to get the gas back in there. That's totally up to you. So then you click all that. You push agree. And when I do the photos, I'll be able to push agree and be able to list that vehicle. It should work that simple like a pimple. So hopefully this video helped you out on how to list a vehicle. It's pretty simple stuff. It's not that difficult as you see. You go through as long as you have a good description in mind. You can go ahead and write it out on a Word document, copy and paste it. Or you can go ahead and type it out on there. You can do all of this on your phone. If you have your little handy dandy mobile phone with you, look at my new phone. Yikes. You can use that or you can do it on a computer as you just saw me do as long as the photos are correct. So with all that being said, if you have any questions or comments about anything you just witnessed, put it down in the comments and I'll try to answer your questions as well. If you haven't subscribed yet, do that. I also have a full playlist here on my YouTube channel full of other videos talking about the ups and downs of my uh, car sharing experience so far. It looks like I'm coming up on a year and a half mark now. I've had uh, three, let's see, one, two, three, four cars total, three cars total. I lose count. Had several totaled cars, had several cars um, not returned by people. So I had to activate the kill switch to deactivate them. All that and more is on this playlist as well. So make sure to hit that and you'll be happy to learn more. So don't forget to follow me on all social media outlets at Chris Monroe STL. That's Snapchat, that's Twitter, that's Instagram, that's Facebook, that's YouTube, that's TikTok, that's Clubhouse. You know, we on Clubhouse every Wednesday, 3.15 Central Standard Time, talking about these car rentals as well. So chime in there at Chris Monroe STL. So with all that being said, be what you do, be who you be, and I'll see you before you see me. We have And we have And we have Mr. I stay Go 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 And Mr. I stay Find more leads than you can even process. That's multiple listing service. That's the MLS for your real estate agents. Absentee owner information. Find the cash buyers and flippers in any market nationwide. Pull a pre-foreclosure list. And don't forget, you got to find those comps. Get nationwide access with multiple filters powered by PropStream at WokeSource.com. Get your seven-day free trial today. WokeSource.com. That's WokeSource.com. 
get your free real estate joint venture agreement and get notified of upcoming shows, text JV to 636-330-1444. Today's broadcast is being brought to you by WokeSkipTracing.com. Look up phone numbers and email addresses with ease, with pricing as low as only 15 cents per match. Not per search, per match. If there's no number or email address, you don't pay. Get accurate data in just minutes. WokeSkipTracing.com. That's WokeSkipTracing.com. You may have heard the saying, the fortunes are in the follow-up. Now there's a brand new system that is great to help you cold call, text message, drop voicemails, and so much more all automated. You don't have to remember anything. Just set it and forget it. All you have to do is speak to people. Check it out. WokeReply.com. It's a multi-touch marketing campaign where you can schedule to send text, voicemail, email, and even live calls all on autopilot. Check it out today. WokeReply.com. That's WokeReply.com.